write a C++ program to create a single linked list, reverse the list and display its element. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about a C++ program to create a single linked list by inserting the element at the beginning and the end of a linked list and perform the reverse operation of the linked list. In order to create a linked list, we are using the concept of class. We create a class which is named as linked list. To store each node of a link, single linked list, we have to create a structure which is named as node. Each node of a linked list, single linked list, consists of two parts. One is to store the data and next is a pointer to the next node. So here data is used to represent the element that to be stored on one node and next is a pointer to the next node. In the single linked list, we have one pointer which is named as begin that will always point to the first node of the single linked list. Initially, begin is initialized as null. First, we are writing a method which is named as traverse, which is used to display all the data present in the linked list node. Here we check the value of begin. Is it pointing to null? If it is null, that means the linked list is not having any node, so it is empty. Else, if the begin is pointing to any of the node, if it is not null, we have to display all the data present in different nodes of the linked list. So we are creating a pointer, a temporary pointer node, which is pointing to the first node that is begin. So here PTR is a node pointer which points to the first node. Now by using a while loop, we check whether the pointer PTR is not null. As long as the pointer PTR is not null, we have to display the data present at the PTR. So here PTR act as a pointer that points to the first node and display the data present in the first node. Then the PTR will move to the next node as PTR equals current PTR next. So that makes the pointer PTR to move to the second node. And again, in the while condition, it checks PTR is pointing to not null. As long as the PTR is not pointing to the not null, it will display the data present in the node and PTR will move to the next node. When the PTR reaches to the last node, the PTR next will point to null. So the while loop will stop. Next, we are writing a method which is named as insert PEG, which is used to insert a node at the beginning of the linked list. X is the data to be stored on the first node. For the purpose, we are creating a new TMP node, a pointer to a node variable. Now this TMP data is stored as X, whatever value we have passed that will get stored into the data of TMP. And TMP is now the first node. So its next should be the current begin. So TMP next will point to the current begin and the new begin will become the newly created node, which is TMP. So the node will get added at the first node of the linked list. Every time when we are insert begin is calling, a new node will get created and that new node TMP will become the first node because the begin is pointing to TMP. Next, we are writing an insert end method which is used to insert a node at the end of the linked list, at the end of the single linked list. For the purpose, we are creating a temporary node which is named as TMP. X is getting stored into TMP's data. Now the TMP's next node should be null because this newly created TMP will go to the end of the linked list. 
So since it is going to the end of the linked list, TMPs next will be definitely null. Now we have to check whether we are inserting this new node is the first node which is getting inserted in the linked list. That means if begin is null, that means the currently created node TMP, that is the first node which will get created, that will be pointed by begin. If begin is not null, that means already some nodes are present in the linked list. So the newly created TEM should get joined to the last node which is currently present. So to move the pointer to the last node, we are using an iterations where PTR first point to the first node, begin node. As long as the value of PTR next is not null, we move the pointer to the next node. That means the PTR will first point to the first node, begin. When the PTR next is not null, PTR will point to the second node. As long as the PTR no, next is not null, PTR will keep on moving to the next so that it will come to the last node. After the completion of the while loop, the PTR will come to the current last node. When we make current last node, PTR's next will be 10, newly created node. Node current last node, it will point to the newly created last node which is 10. Next, we are writing a reverse method. In order to reverse the linked list nodes, we are using the concept of three pointers, which is current, which will point to the starting node begin, and a two pointer variable we are using, which is prev and next. As long as the current is not null, we first define what is next. Depending on the current, the next will be current next. So we have three pointer, first is prev, next is current, next is next. So next will be the next of current. Now we are changing the pointer of the current node. The current next the should point to the previous node because we are reversing. So when the current next will point to the previous node. Now we have to advance the previous and current pointer to the next. So previous will point to current and current will point to next. This loop will keep on repeating as long as the value of current is not null. So every time when a current is not pointing to not null, we first define what is the next node. Next node will be next of current and the pointer of the current, that is current next, we make it point to previous node. Then after that previous will come to the current node and current will go to the next node. So after repeating this while loop, the prev will come to the last node. Once the prev variable, the pre pointer comes to the last node, the last node which is prev should point as the begin because the entire linked list has been reversed so the last node will be act as the beginning node of the reversed linked list. We are creating an object for the linked list class where the type is mentioned as int. By using an infinite while loop, we display the different operations to be performed on this linked list as a user choice. one to insert at the beginning, two for insert at the end.
and three is to reverse the linked list. and four to exit this program. Now, depending on the choice value, CH, we have to perform different operations. So we are writing the logic inside a switch block with different case, case one, two, three, and four. If the choice CH is value is one, we need to perform the insertion begin. So we have a method which is named as insert begin that needs to be called. So before that, we take an integer data from the user by using C out and C in statement. And we call the method insert BEG, which is used to insert a new node at the beginning of the linked list. If the CH value is 2, we have to perform the insertion operation at the end. We have to insert a new node at the end of the linked list. For that, we have to call the method which is named as insert end. We take an integer from the user in the variable VAL and call insert end method. When the value of CH is 3, we need to perform the reverse operation of the linked list. The entire linked list needs to be reversed. So for that, we have a method which is named as reverse that will be called. When CH is four, we have to stop the execution of the program. So we call the method exit. Outside the switch block, at every time the loop is getting repeated, the while loop, we display the entire linked list by calling the method traverse. So traverse method will display all the elements present in the different nodes of the linked list starting from beginning to the last node. Execute and see the program output. Thank you for watching this tutorial.